Hello friends, hey Jesse here. Guys, um, I have a good news. At the same time, it is a, it's going to be a set day for a lot of people. You know, it, uh, it is very awesome to go. If a lot of you guys, yeah, I didn't know, there was one of my brother, the Lord put him, put that to his heart. The, the brother, he's a pastor. He pastored in one of the church in, um, uh, uh, Nigeria. So the pastor, he's pastoring there in Nigeria and, uh, the Lord put it to his heart. He uh, shared one of uh, one of the video that I did uh, back here on Facebook. Whenever the Lord showed me about the the end time, and the brother Sherry, I went back on on YouTube. I'm keep forgetting to share with you guys. I went on YouTube and just to see all the comments, and uh, it it's so amazing to see how people are really be challenged by that by that, and it's amazing. But guys, I want to share with you guys, the Lord has shown me the vision, okay? This vision the Lord has shown me is about the judgment day. Now, I want you to pay attention with everything that I want to say. Listen, I don't care how you're going to take this. If you're a Christian, if you are not, I want you to pay attention to hear me on this because God wants us to hear him tonight. Listen, God, he wants to help us. The Bible says that we are the one we need God, but he just want us. He doesn't need us, but he wants us. So we need it every single day. But before I go to anything else, let me just share the vision that the Lord showed me. So to this vision, I saw it was in the judgment day. Now, this is the example that the Lord wanted me to give to a lot of us to understand. It's so awesome that God will use anything to speak to us. The Lord has used this so I can explain it to a lot of people where it will make sense to everybody. A, a editor, a, someone that edit like movies, uh, photos, everything. You have to understand whenever we go to a movie theater, whenever we go to watch a movie, okay? We need to understand that's the final. There is no going back again to Hollywood. That movie won't go back to a, a editor again to like to add some part that is missing. Oh, there was a mistake here. There was. They have to go through all that at once before to release the movie that we are about to watch. For a lot of us, that those of us we go to movie theater, you probably know what I'm talking about because I know in America, everybody y'all watch movies. We all watch movies, so you go to this movie theater, and you see you watching a movie, and a lot of times you as yourself you don't really know where they messed up, but as uh, someone that watched know how to edit a movie, they have that uh, kind of that mindset of like, man, this place, they should have done it like this. This place, they should have changed it. Now, the Lord showed me that to tell some of us that in a judgment day, as we are in this word, I want you to understand this. The Lord, he can still edit some things in our life. What do I mean about edit? Ed, ed, editing some things in our life. That's mean the Lord still able to change our life. God, He's still able to change everything in our lives. As we have this breath of life, the Lord, He's still able to change everything. But the Lord won't be able to change your life whenever you are dead, whenever you don't have the breath of life. As long as you have the breath of life in you, the Lord, he's still able to change things in your life. As an editor, a person that edit like movies, uh, videos, photo, and stuff like that, you will see before the real list, the, uh, the, the, the movie, they have to sit 
to look at the life like everything that they were doing. If there's a mistake, they're still able to fix it. If there's a little bit of mistake, like, man, you did not act good on that part. They were still going to fix it because they did not release it. The life that we are living right now, it is not, this is, this is not our home. We are going to die one day. As long as we have the breath of life in our life, the Lord is saying that I'm still able to change your life. Let me read to us. The book, the Bible says this on uh, um, Romans, all right, chapter 2. Verse, verse six, the Bible says he would judge everyone according to what they have done. He would judge everyone according to what they have done. Even pastors, evangelists, myself, everybody will be judged according to what you have done. Now understand this. A uh, 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 editor, the person that is editing a movie, they have a choice before they release a movie to edit everything. So whenever people are watching, it will be no mistakes. No sound is so perfect. Like the words is so perfect before they release everything. The Lord wanted the vision. Whenever I was saying that, the Lord said, "There's a lot of people that you're gonna try in that day of judgment day. You were trying to change your life." There's a lot of people that will wish that they live a righteous life here on earth. Because in that day, you won't have a time to edit. That day, the Lord won't have a time to change your life. Are you guys understanding? This break my heart that a lot of people in that day... You would you would try to change everything, man. I should have I should have welcomed that person in my house, but the Lord is saying it's too late. I cannot do it because we already released <laughs> the movie. We already released the movie where you are watching in the movie theater where you have no choice to change it. It's gonna be sad for a lot of people. That you go in a movie theater, even when you see something is wrong with the movie, they cannot change it because they already released it just the way it is. Even when the words was bad, but because they already released it, they cannot change it. Whatever that they can do, they cannot do anything because it's already in the movie theater. For a lot of us that you watch that movie or there's going to be a producer in the movie theater and they can see the mistake that they've done to that movie, but it's already too late. They cannot do anything about it because all the world, they're already watching that mistake. All the world, they're already watching that bad sound. In a judgment day, the Lord is telling me to tell someone, if you are a Christian, if you're not a Christian, listen. That day, it won't be no changing of the, your movie. The Bible said, let me read it one more time. The Bible said this. He will judge everyone according to what you have done. He will judge everyone according to what we have done. Or oh, it's going to be so scary for some that uh, you're not living for Christ. Uh, you were trying to change things in your life. You were trying to change it. As you are watching, just like in a the movie theater, you will wish to change your life as you are watching it. You're going to be, you're going to be, you, you're going to wish to change it. But it's going to be too late. But the Lord is saying, I'm a God of love. I'm a God of peace, God of joy. I can still change your life as you are in life. I can still make you new. Because in this day, the Lord say, I, I won't have anything to do about it. Everything that you are, you, you are doing right now, if you die in, the, in that judgment day, the Lord is saying, I don't have anything to do about it. Your movie is already released. Your life is already been released. Yes, he will. He will judge everyone 
according to what they have done. He will. The Lord is saying to us, to that vision, I saw it clearly. And it's so amazing that the Lord gave me an example of a, of a producer, of a someone that we added like a video. Somehow, all those weeks, the Lord has been talking to me about adding like, I'm a producer, I'm a songwriter, I'm an I'm a editor, I'm a, it's awesome. So guys, again, the Bible says that the Lord would judge everyone according to what they have done. In that day, mainly we wish to change the, the, the story of the life. But it's going to be too late because whenever uh, a producer, they will release a movie... To a movie theater, there is no way for them to change that movie anymore. Whenever a producer will release a movie to a theater that we go watch every single day, there is no a chance to change everything again. Because the movie has already been released. Same thing that will happen to many in a judgment day. Many will wish that they could have lived a life better here on earth. Because listen... In this moment as we are, take it, it's like a movie. Take it that you are a passenger. This is not your home. The Lord is able to change your life. Even when you messed up, the Lord is still able to restore your, your life. The Lord is still able to lift you up. The Lord is still able to, to shut the mouth of people that are rising against you. The Lord, He's still able to heal your body. The Lord, He's still able to change your heart. The Lord, He's still able to do everything because you're still in life. It's a, he's, a, he's a producer that he's adding your movie. He's moving things that is ugly. He's placing things that is a, it's beautiful. It smells good. Things that will stink in your life. The Lord is removing all that. He wants to make a, a something good with smell so good. Now take it as a, this life that we are living. It's like a movie. In that day, um, the movie going to be released. In that judgment day, the movie going to be released of your life. That everything that you have done here on earth, the movie, it's going to be released. You're going to see yourself in the day that you did obey God, in the day that you did not obey God. You will see yourself in the day that you should have helped someone, you did not help them. Instead, you said they are stink. You cannot give them a hug. You will see yourself that day instead of helping that person with food. But you kick them out. You say, God bless you. You will see your life uh, instead of you blessing others. Uh, but you were cursing. You will see yourself instead of letting your body to be the temple of the Holy Spirit. But you choose it to go have sex. Uh, you choose it to go do drugs. Uh, but the Lord is saying in that last day, I won't have anything to do. I cannot change anything in that moment. Even when I want to. But I cannot do anything about it. A producer. Let me tell you something about producer. They can go to another movie theater. If they have edited that video. They can go watch that movie that they added to another movie theater. The day that they release a video. All right, they can go to a movie theater and then start watching the movie. He can see a place that he messed up to edit. He can say, oh man, I should have edited this place this way. But he has nothing, absolutely nothing to do about it. Because all the world is already watching. You cannot go and start taking things out. You cannot call it in Asia. Oh, you guys stop watching that movie so bad I need to edit again. Like, because that's what a lot of people think the Lord would do. He cannot do it anymore in that day. He cannot. And that is the sad part for a lot of people. I pray. And then I hope that you listen to this message. Because it's a vision that the Lord showed me. And then I saw it clearly. And not just today. I have to share it today. But I did not see it today. I was waiting for the Lord. What he wanted me really to tell his people. So my friends. Don't let it be your wish to change your life. 
Don't let it be a wish that where you want the Lord to change your life. Don't let it be a wish where you, you are choosing to fix things. Let the Lord come in your life. Stop changing yourself. Let the Lord change you today because there is hope. The Bible says that we are saved by grace and not by work. Your work won't take you anywhere. Only the grace of God will take you somewhere. My friends, if you're a Christian and you are not a Christian, this message is for all of you. You are Christian if you are not. This message is for all of us because this vision, the Lord, he loves us so much. I want you to know that. If he's able to, to show his servant a dream to tell you guys, that's amazing that the Lord, he loves us. He doesn't want, he does not want anybody to go to hell. That is not his plan. That is not his plan at all. He wanted everybody to inherit the kingdom of God. But there are people that still going to choose hell instead of heaven. May God bless everybody. And then I love you all. That's all I had to share with you guys today. If you feel free to, to share this with someone, because of, listen to me, I get a lot of messages that someone, I don't know how, my brother in Nigeria, we wasn't not even friends, that he was able to listen to the message and he decided to share it on YouTube. And then I'm telling you guys, I went on YouTube and then it's like 17K view and people are watching it all over the world. So it's a blessing to see the comment, what people are commenting down. There are people repenting their life, they're giving their life to Jesus Christ. This is what I'm trying to say. You can be a part of that blessing too. By you sharing this, you are, you are under the anointing of the Holy Spirit that someone, by hearing the message, listen, I see people be healed just here through Facebook. As, as the Lord would give me visions about people just here on Facebook. There's a lot of people I don't know the name, but the Lord would give me a vision about them. We pray with people just here on Facebook. People was healed. So feel free to share this. Share with your friends because this vision, I believe the word needs to hear it. Because a lot of people are waiting for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you, if you die, you are done. I'm telling you, if you die, it's done. And you're just waiting for that day of judgment. But as long as you have the breath of life in you, give your life to Jesus Christ. Give your life to Jesus Christ. I'm not telling you that you're going to go to hell. But I'm giving you something that the Bible has said. Only those who do the will of the Father will enter the kingdom of God. But those who reject the lifestyle, those who reject the Jesus Christ, won't now go to enter the kingdom of God. For in that day, many would come to the Lord and say, Lord, we prophesy, we cast out demons. But the Bible says that uh, the Lord would tell them, get away from me. I never knew you. You who break God's law. So my friends, Feel free to share this message. Feel free to share it. Oh my. Yes, feel free to share this message. Right? Because I believe your friends and our friends, they need to hear this message. May God bless everybody. And you guys have a blessed night.